call it ended much too soon. It all started with a washing machine. Back in 1982, I'd already been married 17 years. I had four children. And my wife came to me one day and said, honey, the washing machine is broke. Would you buy me a new one? And I said, no, we can't afford it. We argued, we continued arguing. We went to med mad that night. And I remember, like it was yesterday, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I said to myself, what an idiot, what an idiot. Married 17 years and you can't even buy your wife a new washing machine to wash your clothes with. It bothered me to the point where I got up the next morning and I made the conscious decision right then and there, I'm not doing this for the rest of my life. My dad was in the carnival business all of his life and usually had amusement parks of his own here where we live and he worked me every waking hour that I could get that I wasn't in school, my dad was working me. I, I know he used to work seven days a week. He paid me $20 for the week, and I rapidly spent the $20 in about 20 minutes. But frankly, I look back and that's where I, where, where I learned what work means. I, were, I learned work ethic from my dad. He worked all of his life. He really never took a vacation that I remember, and that was his life, his life was work. I started working when I was about 11 and continued working and I still work today. Today I don't have to work, but I work because I want to work. But I spent, gosh, I was 35 years old before I ever heard anything about real estate. I was like most other people. I worked every single week. I'd uh, put groceries on the table the best I could. There never was any money left over. I'm a terrible employee. Um, I, I get things done faster than I'm supposed to get them done and that creates boredom, and I can't take much of that boredom. I never could. Ron has absolutely no patience whatsoever. None. <laughs> Ron is the most sincere, truly dedicated, hardworking man I've ever known. His work ethic is higher than absolutely anybody's I've ever met. Uh, he challenges you every day to just work that much harder because of it. There's one thing about Ron. Ron believes in you more than you believe in yourself and because of that confidence that he gives you and it's just not fluff stuff I mean it's actually meat and potatoes tools and strategies to go use and I have not found anybody in the uh, real estate investing training arena that really has uh, the kind of teaching the kind of strategies the kind of instruction that Ron does he not only talks the talk he walks the walk we have a client base that's very loyal to Ron. They're dedicated to his methodologies and strategies, and I believe it's because we really care about the success of our students. When people take their courses here, we don't say, good luck, see you later. We really, really follow them along their path of success. Well, I, I often run across people today who don't, for some reason, don't think that they can do the business of uh, real estate and then I relate to my story. I'm 35 years old, I'm, I'm working in a service station. I have no retirement, I have no, I have no bank account. I had terrible credit, I had no money, none whatsoever. I could barely pay my bills. We lived in an apartment with roaches crawling out of the walls. In fact, when I got married, I didn't have a white shirt. I had to borrow one from a friend. I didn't have a car. My honeymoon was my boss paid for a motel room right down the street for us the, for the night of our wedding. I have no formal training whatsoever. And yet somehow, I came from that to where I am today. And anybody can do it. We're in the greatest country in the world, and there's nothing stopping anyone from going out and following their dream. You know, I often tell my students, there's only one way you can get good at anything. First, you gotta suck. <laughs> so if you qualify for there, you're in the right position. Suck first, get better every day. Next thing you know, you're the expert. And it really don't make any difference what business you're in, the same thing is going to apply.
I'm the world's leading real estate trainer today and I teach people how to buy and sell houses without using their money or credit all over North America. Good morning, Jen. So what's happening today? Well, I have the numbers for the information marketing bootcamp here for you. Oh, cool. Hi, guys. Good morning. What's on the agenda for today? Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, Ron. What's going on today? And since I personally come in contact with so many of these folks, because I personally teach my events, I get to talk to them, I get to chat with them. And you know, I hear the same things over and over, everywhere I go, no matter what city I'm in, uh, people are hating more and more of what they do. The government's doing whatever they can to put businesses out of business. Doctors are coming to me. I, mean, I, you know, I used to make uh, big money, now I'm making small money and I'm not in control of my life and I have to work 70 hours a week whether I like it or not. To take your life back and, and, and build your own business is really what we are here to do. It is, as, as far as I'm concerned, that is our destination. That's what makes us tick. When it comes to Ron Legrand, there's nobody else in our world that uh, has had more of an impact on our real estate investing business. I mean, right now, Ron himself, in his investing career, has invested in more than 3,000 single family homes himself. So he knows what he's doing. He's been through all the failures and the mistakes to teach us and other students. Secondly, Ron has got this unique gift of taking what's up here in his head and communicating it in a style and in a way and in words and in language that someone that's never had any experience can actually understand what's being said. Carol, Joy, and I, we've been in the buying and selling house business now for 12 years, uh, investing um, right in eastern North Carolina, and things were great. And uh, everybody, I'm sure, will remember what was going on a few years ago when we had the global financial collapse. And so, with no notice, we were cut off from the banks uh, as far as our funding goes. And we were funding our deals with lines of credit. And so we were introduced to Ron Legrand uh, within two weeks of being cut off from the banks. And I had never heard of that phrase called private money until Ron Legrand told us about private money. I teach my folks we don't use our money, we don't use our credit, and we don't make promises we can't keep and we close everything with attorneys. Some people come into the real estate business only seeing one way to make money. Some think it's all about buying them and rehabbing them. Some think it's about wholesaling them. I like to teach people how to be a transaction engineer. There's all kinds of ways to make money in real estate, and if you only see one way, then you're walking through the business with blinders on and usually walking over the dollars to get to the dimes. I thought I knew everything there was, really, to know about single family home investing, because we've been doing it for six years, never lost money on a deal. But when I came to this training that he was putting on, what would just blew me away was all these creative strategies that I didn't know exist from you know, buying homes subject to, to controlling properties with other ways without using my own money. It really was a transformation as far as what I learned during that week and what we've been able to put to use ever since then. Our folks come in, they start wherever they like. Some folks come in and they gravitate to wholesaling houses because it knows no money, no credit, very little training. I can put a property under contract and flip it and pick up a check for $10,000. Okay, that's how I made my first deal. But that's just a little piece of the business. Real estate is a vehicle to generate cash, not to bury cash. But when we generate more cash than we need, then why not put it in real estate? Because I can promise you the rate of return that you're gonna get with real estate if properly invested is gonna far out distance most anything else you can do with that money on a passive basis. Within 90 days because of Ron's uh, teaching, we were able to go out and raise $2,150,000 in funding. So that experience was actually, uh, I thought was adverse, but it was a blessing in disguise. And because of Ron Legrand, we have, were able to triple our income and go from six figures a year to seven figures a year within that first year of meeting Ron. My life has definitely changed uh, dramatically uh, because of Ron. You know, I started in real estate in 1980 and I became a uh, real estate agent in 83, 84 I became a builder and for about 11 years I built a little over 200 custom homes. Um, 1987 we had a recession just like we just went through recently and unfortunately that really hurt me and um, 
The wife forced me to get a job, so I went and got a job and kind of got away from the real estate. And in 98, I heard a radio ad for Ron, uh, send away for his book, which I did. And immediately, uh, uh, which I just told him about this, and he was amazed that I was able to f flip a contract by just reading the book. But of course, I had a b background in real estate. I just wasn't doing it right until I got Ron's book to start doing it the right way. And then just recently, well, two years ago, we went to the summit in Orlando. And that's when my son, Eric, and I made the decision to jump in to this full time. And we uh, joined his master's program. And we've gone through all his classes, his mentoring. And uh, we just partnered with him now. Uh, so we're on his Prosperity Partners program group. It's amazing, just two years ago, when I was working a day job at a restaurant, and quitting that September 2013 to go do the real estate full time, I've made more money in one transaction than I ever made in one year working at a restaurant. I always tell people if you really like what you do, don't stop doing it. But on the other hand, if it's not producing enough money or wealth in your life, maybe we can get you doing the more productive things that create more money, but still, it's all about freeing up your time so you can enjoy life. Financial independence is not just because you have money, you also have to have the time to spend the money. My goal is to get people out of a job and into freedom by taking control of their own financial destiny. It's awesome, man. You know, prior to that, you know, when I was working, I would wake up in the morning, leave, go to the restaurant, come home, he'd go to do his corporate thing. We had definitely very different schedules. And over the last two years, I mean, we see each other more often now than I've ever seen him in my whole life, probably. You know, so it's been very, very cool um, to be able to get to know him. And we've learned a lot of things about each other over the last two years that we really didn't know. If you come to a seminar or read a book or take a course or join a boot camp of Ron's, you know, where you have hands-on, not only are you going to be told it, you're going to be shown it live, in person, calling live sellers and see that, that sellers are obviously very uh, acceptable to the terms. We're not all islands. We need people in our lives. We need to talk to people, and if we're going to talk to people, you have a choice. You can talk to the dream stealers or you can talk to the folks who are on the same path you are. And I can tell you from a lot of years of teaching that the very first thing that one should do is latch on to other people that are doing that thing they want to do, not only to give them the inspiration, but also the education necessary to continue growing. Cash flow is king. I suppose I don't need to tell you that, do I? What happens to a business that doesn't have cash flow? I mean, besides it goes out of business ultimately, what, uh, beyond that, what's the business like internally? Internally, if it doesn't have cash flow, the owners are worried that, and they're frustrated, and that bleeds right on down to the employees, creates doubt in their mind, everybody's in a bad mood, and it just creates a bad working environment and enhances the problem because the cash flow is not there. So how, many, how much money is going into your bank account every month to survive on? And by the way, when you get to that number, I think you're going to find it pretty easy to grossly outdistance that very quickly with real estate. I mean, let's be honest. How many $10,000 deals do you need a month to grossly outdistance what you're currently making? Need I ask? <laughs> I don't even need to ask. I can tell you that one a month will produce more revenue than 75% of the people in this room currently make without even asking. So just imagine what it would be like if you were doing two a month. Better yet, what if you're only doing one a month, but you're getting 20 grand? And if you do one a month and you get 20 grand, what is the only conclusion you're quickly going to come to? Geez, why don't I do two? Now there is a thought. If I can do one, I can do two. So $40,000 a month coming into your top, that's $480,000 a year. More money than surgeons make in our society after 12 years of school. And that is pre-tax. And now by the time you start taking all your expenses out of there and everything you can write off, you're actually literally going to pay less taxes than you're paying probably on the job you're working on now. It's just math to me. 
But it's going to take a little bit of commitment and, and systemization on your part to get to, the, to that point. But I'm, I'm telling you the honest truth, that ain't a lot of money and that ain't a hard job to fulfill. That ain't a hard goal to reach. The cool thing about when you buy a house for more than technically what it's even worth is your seller is extremely patient. So you can when we met Ron LeGrand, actually, we were doing a lot of deals quickly. So he flew out to our office in Arizona to see what we were doing. Yeah. And very shortly, he hired us. We actually are trainers with Ron LeGrand. We yes. go teaching with him on the road. He actually did. He flew out to our office. We sent him a testimonial letter, which is hanging right over in the office here. And he had to know what we were doing because we were having great success very quickly. And so he came out to our office in Arizona, and we toured the office. And he was so excited about what we were showing him and what we were able to do and our passion for the business that he hired us to teach alongside him. I always knew real estate was the answer. It's made more millionaires than anything else. So I knew that was the way, but I didn't have the mentor. I didn't have the guide that I felt like we needed, the best person to show us the way. And then my life changed the day we met Ron. Everything turned around because my mind expanded. And I'm a smart guy. I graduated summa cum laude from the University of Minnesota, and I prided myself on being smart. And then I met Ron. The guy has poured his focus and his life's work on figuring out how to make money. And make money more you know, in real estate and other ways as well. And thankfully, we finally found him, and he was the guide. He was the mentor I'd always been looking for. He really changed our life forever. And because of him, we have actually closed over $95 million worth of real estate transactions. You know, I, I hear them all. I'm in this business as well. And you're either going to hear some of the common objections. I don't have time. I don't have money. It's not for me. And I can tell anyone who's watching this, it works for anybody. I know Ron's had many, many students come through his program over the years. I can speak from personal experience. I've had 18-year-old kids go through this program make $30,000. I've had people make $60,000 in the first deal. And it's just a matter of following the system. You know, our brain loves to play what ifs. You know, it's trying to find what's wrong with this scenario. It's too good to be true. It's just our brain playing games with us. The fact of the matter is, you can do this anywhere in the country. You can do houses anywhere in the country. You can do apartments anywhere in the country. It doesn't matter where you live. There's a strategy, there's a way to take advantage of any real estate market. Here, you found hardwood floors underneath there. Mm -hmm. You gotta take this out and completely resand this a darker color. I have a law enforcement background, 30 years with uh, LAPD, I work patrol, many years, and so my whole career I've been in law enforcement primarily, and a lot of times I've gone to see a bunch of houses going in and out, it's nice houses and nice communities, and then some rundown houses in older communities. And then, so I left law enforcement and went into business for myself, because I've always had this entrepreneur spirit. Uh, inside me saying you got to do more than just you know working and punch a clock so I decided to go into selling insurance and then doing financial services and that led me into real estate and so I was doing flipping houses fixing and flipping houses for a period of time and, and then I you know met Robin Thompson who introduced me to Ron LeGrand at one of her events and I started learning about the pretty house business and so from that point on uh, a couple of years ago I hooked up with Ron and started doing coaching and mentoring with his group of coaches Brian Lynette Wolf and they showed me how I could take my business from just being a everyday flipper but to becoming having a great system and have it on autopilot and being able to uh, have systems in place so I can be more free of my time and still accumulate real estate assets and become wealthy that way. In order to be in the pretty house business, somebody has to make a phone call to the sellers to get the property information sheet filled out. Well, our VAs do that, our virtual assistants do that. I don't want my students doing that. There's a lot of time invested in that, chasing people on the telephone and getting the thing filled out. The virtual assistant sends the sheet to the real estate investor and right there, it says right there in black and white, I'm interested in terms or I'm not interested in terms. That's all done. So we take the ones that are interested in terms, so my students make one phone call and if they like what they hear, when read the script, if the answers come out good at the bottom, then they make an appointment and go get an agreement signed and they take control of a two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred thousand dollar asset. That's it. Now anybody can do that, make a few phone calls a week. If you can make a few phone calls a week, you can buy real estate. My famous trademark quote is, the less I do, the more I make.
I didn't even know what the pretty house business was until I got involved with Ronald Grant. And I was doing the ugly house business, which means that you were doing rehabbing houses and you find these distressed homes, you find you know buyers that were distressed, you take the homes that were in really bad areas, and you take them and you fix them up, which means you have to find the contractors, you have to raise the money, you have to get hard money, private money. So that was a hard thing to do it. You got to spend time and fixing up the house, and months later, you get a payday once you fix it and sold it. Pretty house side of the business, meaning that you can take over somebody's debt, subject to, you can buy a house, owner finance, you put little to no money, if any money at all, and you basically just truck the paper, you can set up the documents to be able to take over someone's house and from a seller, put no money out and then turn around and sell it to a tenant buyer, put them in place where you can get a large sum of money down. Matter of fact, sometimes you never even have to go see the house. If you do the paperwork, people go see it, they like it, they give you a down payment, they write a contract, everything can be done via fax, email, or regular mail, and everything goes through your attorney or through your escrow company, and you can uh, make a lot of money doing that as well. Much faster pace and less cost and uh, less responsibility. Teamwork makes the dream work, and we like that model because uh, without having that team around us, we're only as good as our last sale, and we try not to look at it as, as just a last sale. We look at it as a lifestyle, and if it works in L.A., it can work in your neighborhood, and I like that. I have a quote. You can steal this quote if you want it. You ready? Here it is. The whole world is full of crap. Don't listen to anybody. Don't listen to anything you hear unless you absolutely know they're qualified to render the advice that they're giving you, especially if that advice is free, because usually it's worth exactly what it costs, nothing. The best thing you can do is follow the fellow who follows his dreams. Listen to the people who have done it, not the people who want to talk about it. That first check was the huge difference for me because that was the, that was the credibility that I needed to prove to myself that I could do it. It was also my shut up check because everybody was telling me, this won't work, it won't work for you, this is baloney. And then of course I showed them the check, shut up, go away. And that was the proof, probably proof to me more than anybody else. But um, I've learned over the years with working with people that the faster we can get them to that first step of success, the better chance that we have of keeping them because the dream stealers are certainly gonna come in and try to take their dreams away from them. Look, I had to struggle to get through high school. I'm just a simple auto mechanic who decided I wouldn't want to do it anymore. In fact, I'm just a simple man. I'd rather have a good hamburger than a good steak. Uh, I live a simple life. My wife and I have been married for 50 years. We live where we're comfortable, and I've built my whole life on being simple and the ability to make things simple for other people. We have a community, and that's what it is. It's a community. It's a great big family. Once you enter Planet Ron, as I call it, you're in it for life. Our life, your life, whichever comes first, but you're in it for life. And so we're not gonna run you in a seminar and love you and leave you in the morning. We're gonna be there when you get out of the seminar and we expect this relationship to keep going for a lot of years into the future. Fortunately, it has worked out that way, which is why others follow me and probably why I've been so successful as a trainer over these past 30 years. I got into real estate, went to that first real estate seminar, and in fact, we lived on the north side of town with our friends Tom and Diane Fletcher sitting over here right now. Yeah. And I, I remember I went to that first seminar and I came home and I started telling Tom about it. And he says, you're an idiot, this stuff don't work. And he, he was the first guy who told me it didn't work. Then I drove home a BMW. He says, tell me a little bit more about this real estate stuff. Anyway, it's been a long ride together. It's been uh, 50 years today. It's even hard for us to believe. Uh, but I got to tell you, if I was 1965 right now, and I knew what I know now, and I had to choose, I would choose you, Beverly. Thank you again for coming. And I guess what we're going to do now, just go cut the cake and so they can come get it. Yeah, and we're, well, we can, we're good. Oh, well, okay, you want me to dance? You want us to dance? This is not just a business, this is a lifestyle. We are truly creating a society of prosperity where people believe they can do it.